did I need everything? No, but I was on vacation. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Emma if you're new. If you're not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a what I spent in a week at Disney World. I just finished uploading all my Disney vlogs, so go check those out. I have the whole Disney series. So this is kind of like the last wrap up video of the Disney series. I'm super excited. Let's just get into it. <laughs> So you may or may not have gathered that I do enjoy going to Disney quite often. Me and my friends, the trip that we went on this year, we've been doing it for five years. Um, I never filmed my freshman year, but we did it all four years of college and then this was our first year doing it post-grad. So it's super exciting that we actually got to do it. It's not cheap to go to Disney. I'm not gonna pretend it is. This is me doing it on my budget. So obviously everybody's budget is different. Like this is not me telling you how to spend your money or what to do, but this is how I spent my money this year at Disney World. So to start off, I would say the most expensive thing would be tickets. I bought my annual pass this year because I do go multiple times a year, uh, or I at least plan on it. Um, <laughs> I did buy an annual pass, so that was $1,100 with like taxes and everything. I am like a sorcerer pass level. My parents are DVC, so I don't have as many blockout dates, which is nice. I don't have like spring break or anything, but I really like the sorcerer level. I'm also out of state, so I could only get either sorcerer if you're DVC or the Increda pass. So I got that at the beginning of January and then we also got our flights towards the end of January, middle, middle of January because me and my friend Bella, we both flew together down to Florida. We flew Southwest. Our round trip cost was originally $337.95, but with the free flight changes, which is like why I do Southwest because I am an impulsive girl. If the prices drop, you can like change your flight to be the same time and you'll get your money back. So we ended up doing that because the prices dropped. They were doing a huge sale and I saved $45.27. My flights round trip were $292.68, which honestly, I feel like that's pretty good. Typically we would stay at a hotel, but because Alina and Hannah both like live closer to Disney, we decided that this year it would be easier to just stay with Alina. All four of us were at Alina's house and so we didn't pay anything for a hotel, which was nice. So that was plus zero. Woo! For transportation, we did Uber to and from the airports because with the exception of Alina picking us up at the airport the night we flew in. Our Uber to the airport from where I work was $39.28 and then it was $19.64 split. Then Alina picked us up when we got to Orlando, which was so nice, thanks girl. And then our Uber to the Orlando airport was $43.19 and that was $21.60 split. And then our Uber home from the airport in Chicago was $51.87, which was so sick, but it was literally 11 o'clock. We were not taking the train home. That was $25.94 split. The biggest thing that I spent money on or usually spend money on at Disney is food. You might argue with that later when I tell you what I spent on merch, but the thing that I like know that I'm gonna spend the most money on is probably food. When we got to the airport, I got dinner at Dunks. So I got like a bacon, egg and cheese and like I think a donut or something, I don't know. So my dinner at Dunks was $14.90. Our first day in the park was Epcot. So I spent $43.87 on food and drinks that day. I got two alcoholic drinks and then I also it like more snacks. So I got a Mickey pretzel. I got probably other stuff. I don't know what drinks and what snacks I got. I definitely got a Mickey pretzel and I definitely got a Tokyo sunset. Beyond that, if I'm being honest, I was tracking this during my trip and 
this won't be the last time this happens. Anyways, then at Animal Kingdom, we got lunch at the Flame Tree, which is really good. I got mac and cheese. It was like a mac and cheese onion ring like combo kind of thing. And then we got ice cream before we left. So that whole day was $21.60 for food. Cheaper than what I spend on food here. I mean, honestly. And then at Magic Kingdom, this was our definitely our most expensive day. We went to lunch i believe at pecos bill and i got the kids meal which was 7.44 for mac and cheese two cuties and a drink i definitely got mickey pretzels that day i think i might have gotten a little sweet treat oh no i probably did um <laughs> And so my snacks total was $22.99. And then for dinner, we went to the Plaza restaurant. I got the Impossible Burger with, I think they came with fries. I got an ice cream sundae for dessert. And she was so cute. She put it in like a little to go because the fireworks started five, five minutes early. We all like heard it and we were like, oh, that's just the announcement. And then the fireworks started going off. I was like, so that was $38.29 and that includes like the tip and everything. Our last day in the parks was our Hollywood Studios day. Our lunch, we went to Docking Bay, I think. I promise I did go on this trip. And I got their Impossible Meatballs with like, it came with hummus and pita bread really good and that was $14.15 so that was $14.15 for lunch at Docking Bay 7 and then we went to Oga's Cantina for a little noon drinky. I got the Fuzzy Tauntaun. It ended up being $23.55 with tax and tip. We got dinner at the Fairfax like little pop-up the quick service. I also got mac and cheese. Clearly I love mac and cheese. That was $11.17 and then I also got a Mickey pretzel during the day, which was about $7. My total for that day for food was $55.87. For our last day, and also like our flight home, we went to Disney Springs. We got Joffrey's in the morning, and that was $6.49 for a latte. And then we got Blaze for lunch. That was $14.32. That's what I spent like at Disney Springs. Then we went to the airport and everything. I was like, like, I know there's an Auntie Annie's in that in that Orlando airport and I was like I am getting Auntie Annie's for dinner. I got a just regular degular salted pretzel and that was $6.59. For our travel day home and also our Disney Springs I spent $27.40 on food. So that's all the food. Then we get to the merch part of the spending. Let's just start with Pandora. Um, this was Pandora and the Magic Kingdom. Hannah wanted to get a ring and then me and Isabella ended up actually getting rings. I got two rings that like stack. I spent $123.54 and then we went to the Emporium and I actually got this sweatshirt. I got a hat with like a little Mickey. It kind of looks like the like Ralph Lauren like polo hats but it has like Mickey all of that together was 85 18 and then we went to Hollywood Studios Pandora I did almost have a heart attack with this one cuz I was like oh so I got a pair of earrings they're silver I'm like really mixing metals all of a sudden but they are really cute and then the Pandora earrings they're like hoops but you can put the charms on them so obviously <laughs> I had to get charms. That in total, this was with like my discount, all this merch. So with my discount, I spent $187.44 on the earrings and the charms. At Disney Springs, we went to World of Disney where I got the Guardians of the Galaxy ears. They had just come out. That was $29.81 for those. And then we went to Uniqlo and I got their little like kind of cropped t-shirts and they had purple kind of and Rapunzel embroidered on it. So I got that and then I got a Belle one that has like a pocket and her embroidery is on the pocket. And I also saw Uniqlo like kind of that goo crescent bag that like over the shoulder kind of thing. And so at Uniqlo, I spent $53.04. That was like the last purchase of the trip that I made. In total, I spent $292.68 on flights, $67.11 on transportation, $232.46 on 
food and I spent $479.01 on merch. So in total, not counting my annual pass, it was $1,071.23. And then counting my annual pass, I spent $2,171.23. That's the grand total of everything. I think that's about how much I would say is I spend on average for like this kind of trip. This is a really, the trip of the year, literally. I was able to plan more for it now as like I'm working like full time and I'm not just a student. I'm really proud of myself. I will like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually really proud of myself. I was able to save up for this trip for so long and get my annual pass and I'm really excited to be going back in September. That's like the positive. The negatives I would say is I spend so much money on merch. <laughs> I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like kind of got some insight how to like do Di Disney on a budget or how to kind of on average like what you might spend. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'm Fitzbite, I'm on Instagram. Everything will be like in the description. You can go watch all my Disney series videos, catch up, watch them. Okay, I will see you guys next week. Love you so much. Bye.